Hey guys, in this video I wanted to show you the tarot gimbal and how to set it up um, to the receiver. So if I move my battery, I already got it powered up. So, okay, this is the top plate and let's look at it this way. And if you guys can see that. And we're looking at the top of the board. The CTR is for center, tilt, and roll. Okay? So what we can do is, using the split wire that they gave us, which is this one right here, it splits into three separate plugs, which I pulled out to show you guys. And the only wire I'm using is the red wire. The red wire goes to the end of this plug, but the red wire is in the middle, which is the T, and that controls my tilt. Now, these other two you can run to separate channels if you want to your receiver, and notice how they all go to the signal side of the plug. That goes in the signal wire of your receiver. So this red one is plugged into an extension, and the extension just plugs into my eighth channel, okay? And that is my tilt. Actually, I'm not using my uh, orientation control, so I'm using that. So on my 8FG, my tilt is my slider. And you can see that there. Now, my FPV system is powered on a separate 3S battery. So one thing you want to be careful of is you're not going to get a tilt until you turn your to so plug your quad in and your radio and then you'll uh, be able to control the tilt that way so now if we wanted to do roll we would just switch this plug to the roll wire which is white which I'll do and we're making sure that it goes in the signals and now using my I can control the tilt Okay, so let's see what the center does. And you can use three separate channels for this, guys, so to give you an idea. Now, what the center does is it's, I have it hooked up to a slider, but really it's meant to be on a gimbal stick. Um, I don't have any gimbal sticks free because they're being used, but what you can do is hook it up to a gimbal stick and it will travel to the position and then go back to center. Uh, when you release the stick, it'll go back to center. So that's pretty much the basics of how you can control your recentering, your tilt, and your roll. Okay, so use this wire, and you guys can also make your own. Uh, it's not very hard to do using servo extensions and that. So I hope this helps everyone set up the tarot gimbal. As far as the power goes, it does. it's only recommended for three cells, so don't do anything over than that. Let me know if you guys have any. All right, real quick, guys. What I did was I hooked up the tilt and roll, so you can see how I did that. And I'm using the white and the red. They're both going into signal wires to my receiver. Uh, I'm using seven and eight, and I just unhooked the orientation control. So I'm using the one three cable plug in the CTR line that spits off into three. And I'm hooked it up to my slider. So there's my tilt slider. And here's my roll slider. So I can compensate for uh, variations in the angle of the pitch. Any more questions? All right. The video uh, plug, one more thing here. And this is going to a video switch that I have set up. but. The top of the plug, if you're looking at the top, you'll see the you'll see the surface is curved on the top of this. The right is the signal wire, okay? This is so you can power the gimbal using using a uh, your receiver to power or I'm sorry to power the GoPro. So you can charge your battery at the same time you fly. Uh, hope that answers all your questions guys. Let me know if you have any more questions. Thanks for watching.